Today I'm going to talk about putting a binder on. If you're putting a binder on, it's because you you have a flap that needs a pressure on it and you've done a plication or you have a wound that needs support and the tissue is is needing that support. So you may have someone in the room say, well, we'll just put it on when they get over on the stretcher. But that's really not what you want to do because that patient may buck when they're waking up from anesthesia or when they're moving, they may try to sit up. Either way, that's putting pressure on that wound and you don't want that. So there's really an easy way to get this binder on while they're still asleep without even bothering anesthesia. You don't have to ask anesthesia to undo the arms or to do anything because you're tipping so little. But it's easy when you have two people that know what they're doing. So you have your binder and it's really important. Last week I had someone give it to me upside down and we had, ended up having to pull it out. So you've got your Velcro on this side and you want to make sure that that's going to come down. So you want to make sure that you have the Velcro on the correct side before you put it under the patient. The other thing is you can see that there's an angle to this. So you want this at the waist and this at the hips. So you're going to be careful with that. So I kind of look at it and say, yes, here's the Velcro. That's the way it's going to close. So that's the way I want to start it. So you want to roll the binder on itself. And then the waist is up here. And then she's going to tip the hips just a little tiny bit. And you can see you don't even have to move up here. She's tipping the hips and then that re exposes the small of the back. Then you can just push it in halfway and you'll see how little it takes to actually turn. And you can see I'm not disturbing the upper half of the body at all. And then she can easily get to it and pull it out. And then you can apply the binder. And if you need to, she could always pull a little bit more out. And you can see how that does a nice binding without really bothering them. And now if the patient bucks, it has support. And the other thing is, if you have the Velcro here, sometimes the Velcro is not straight, you could just put an ABD or a dressing so the Velcro is not right on the skin.